at first I was like, oh no. <laughs> um, uh, a little scared, but then I really thought about it and uh, it's sarcasm and I really like sarcasm, so I'm happy to do it. About the perceived blasphemy that this movie might have, um, I think that any institution or any thing deserves to be lampooned, deserves to be poked, prodded, and questioned. And humor has always been a really good way to do that. Um, you take humor out of the equation and you forbid people to ask those questions, um, you end up with something that people don't understand but follow blindly. I'm not worried about getting canceled. I mean, why? It's just... Yeah, you know, some people have a sense of humor and then some don't. That's just what it really boils down to. Well, actually, my um, my opinion regarding religion, I'm still surprised that it still exists in the 21st century because uh, when I was in the 10th grade of the school, I thought the globe religion is going to be science. I'm not super religious myself, but I knew going into this that uh, this wasn't mean-spirited. It wasn't like a attack on Christianity and religion and God and all this. It was, this is all for fun. This is all pretend and made in jest. First of all, it's an absurdist comedy. And then I thought more deeply about just the wit and the intelligence and the intentionality behind it. Uh, it's such an interesting perspective that no one has ever heard before. So that really drew me into it. Bill has so much ideas in his head and um, his way of thinking and his way of seeing th um, reality, it's um, quite unusual to tell the truth. What was it like to see Bill Zabub's forehead in real life? Um, well, it was an experience. Uh, it's it's much more massive and meaty than you would think, uh, but yet it's kind of thin and sickly looking. So, um, very bizarre. Bill's got a receding hairline that just does not quit. And as a man with hair, I, I worry about him, and I worry about him dying alone. Something that I thought was actually a little bit um, uncomfortable when I watched the movies was the size of Bill's forehead. It... I found I had to watch the movies twice because I had to watch one run through just watching the forehead so that I could finally take another run through and actually pay attention to the rest that was happening. In person though, it's way worse. I had to avert my gaze from his forehead and I would advise anyone that has to meet with Bill to wear sunglasses or, 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 or don't look directly at his forehead. Bill has gained some weight. Um, he says that it is for the role. I don't know if he means it's for the stomach role. In that case, it's working perfectly. But I think that Bill kind of just doesn't really believe in self-care. I, I think Bill believes in eating a lot of things that he shouldn't eat at all and telling people it's for a movie. For the record, Bill Zabub is not fat. He's just big blubbered. Uh, Bill might try to convince you he's like Christian Bale, where he's able to drop pounds and gain pounds depending on the role. Don't believe it. Bill's just a fat slob. That's... There's no art to it. He's just Bill. When you work with Bill, when you're on set with him, when you face to face with him, you kind of lock eyes way too often for comfort. And I, I kept feeling that he was going to lean forward and try to kiss me multiple times in this movie. And that is just like, in essence, Bill as, as the creepiest director I've ever worked with. Is Bill Zabub accident prone? I'm going to say 110%. Like, I think the first scene he might have tripped, and he tripped throughout the entire uh, six hours of shooting. So, yeah. Lights knocked over, pillows, shoes flying, just all over the place. If you see Bill Zabab being stupid, that means he's acting to be stupid. Because <laughs> um, in um, life, Bill is pretty much smart. <laughs> I believe that art is about bold choices. And I also don't see it as, 
a negative thing. I, I think it's really healthy to acknowledge other perspectives, right? It's, it's not trying to be the end all be all word on this. It's a perspective, right? And it's, it's really edifying. It's really fun and exciting to kind of go down that little rabbit hole and explore and, and see what that activates in you. I've been an avid watcher and supporter of Bill uh, for many years. I met him at a con many years ago. I don't remember which one it was, but I bought several of his movies after a conversation. And I've always liked like real super low budget indie movies, um, but that did not prepare me for the Bill's Above experience. And I love the experience because he is never afraid to do the thing that any other filmmaker that I watch is afraid to do. I, I think maybe Bill Zabub's like a good luck charm because right as we got out of the you know cars and got ready to start filming, this very beautiful girl came up and gave us these little liquor bottles for no reason at all. Like that never happens to me. But when I go to hang out with Bill, oh yeah, free liquor. <laughs>